All right, what's up, you guys? It's Agent 0077 here again, and I'm back with another Pokemon statue review for you guys. This time, again, it's from Kotobukeya, their Artifacts J line, and I'm here showing you off the Pokemon statue of Lily. Now, Lily's not really a Pokemon trainer, so that's why I didn't say Pokemon trainer, but here's Lily from the Pokemon Sun and Moon games. And this is her uh, pose that she's in. She's looking back, uh, I guess, because, you know. Cosmog escaped out of his bag again, and he's flying off, and she's like, whoa, where are you going, Cosmog? You know? And so, yeah, she has that. Her, her hat's about to, like, blow off. Her hair swaying in the wind. Really cool pose overall. Uh, you know, very nicely detailed, as you can see. Look, I mean, they outdid themselves with this statue. I mean, look at all that. Uh, it looks really good, really nice, really neat. And, again, the... You know, she looks like she's coming straight out of the game, or straight out of the anime, if you guys still watch the anime. Uh, looks pretty good. So, let's get a closer look uh, into Lily and see the details at close range, shall we? Alright, so, here we are at close range, and uh, you can see the details even uh, better. So, the paint on the face looks really good. The nice paint for the eyes, you know, the green and the light green. Her eyelashes, her eyebrows, you know, really good. The pink in her, like, mouth right there. The details in her hair, you know, the braids, I mean, just look at that. Again, Kotobukiya just does really good work. Uh, again, for the strands of her hair, the, the paint for the hair, the yellow, it's really good. Done really nicely. You can see the, the end tips right here that they sculpted a little bit of, you know, like more like hair look. I give it a hair, you know, like brush kind of look. I don't, know, I don't know how to say that, but yeah, there's the detail right there line detail right here at the back of her hair looks really good the paint that they use for her hats like this pearl white I don't know let me see if I can get closer if you guys can see it there you go Ooh, looks like we just found a crack too dang but yeah see he has that that pearl like kind of white paint to it it looks really nice uh blue nice blue paint for the ribbon right here around the hat you got this little like flower mark up here which looks pretty cool it's sculpted nicely uh, Cosmog right here looks cool. You can see the paint on Cosmog looks really well done. You got that dark purple for his cloud body. And it goes up to like a translucent kind of like light blue color up here mixed with purple. Which looks really cool. And the little like white painted stars it just looks really nice. The little like, uh, I don't know what you call this. But the little yellow moon like kind of crest that he has right here is really well done. Uh, uh, painted well done too. His face is painted cool. Got that nice black paint with his yellow eyes mixed in and blue cheeks. And you got yellow and pink for his mouth and a little bit of like purple down here mixed in with the uh, or pink mixed in with the purple, which you know adds a lot to the Pokemon. It's really cool. You see the bag right here, nice Pokemon symbol right here that they sculpted in with the lines it's really cool it got the gray black and the red that paint is really well done like there's no bleeding through of like any color right there uh, here you can see the black and gray are like mixing in a little bit but it's not too bad the bags open which is cool there's nothing in there but it's like a dark gray that looks neat you got the little like strap on right here <laughs> so, excuse me the little like uh, handle bar or a little handle strap right there yeah, that looks really neat. Uh, you know, the way it's designed, it looks really cool. Uh, again, the strap right here, the way it's designed, it's really neat. The way they've sculpted it going up to, you know, her her shoulders looks cool. Her dress looks pretty neat. It's well done. You can see the, the line detail right there, the little flower marks that you find up on her hats right there. They use the same kind of pearl white for her dress that they use on her hat. So that's pretty neat nice paint right there for her collar and the red ribbon that you hardly ever see right there or i don't know if it's oh no it's like it's part of the bag i thought it was like a ribbon or like not like a ribbon like uh like a tie but it's not it's part of the the bag so yeah there's lily you guys looks pretty cool down here the skin tone you know it's like that pale white with a little bit of darker you know skin color right there which looks neat the socks the shoes they're cool it's like that nice like baby blue color right here for the shoes and the, her, the top of her socks right there looks neat again the floor design and the base this is uh you know quite a different base from the other 
from the other Pokemon statues. There's no Pokemon symbol in this one, and it's all like like a baby blue color or like a light blue color, and it looks nice. And you got this nice little floral design around it, which looks pretty neat. You gotta say it's a really nice base. So there you have it. There's a uh, uh, Lily from Pokemon Sun and Moon with Cosmog coming out of the bag. And yeah, another nice statue, you guys. Uh, again, if you guys like this, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. God bless.